So today we're going to move on from talking about prisms to talking about the right circular cylinder. Now we're going to go over volume, lateral area, and total area of a right circular cylinder today. So volume of a right circular cylinder is equal to pi r squared times height, which makes sense because <laughs> if you think about it, the the area of a the area of a circle is equal to two pi r squared or excuse me, it's just equal to pi r squared. And then if we multiply it by the height, it'll give us volume. So the volume of this cylinder is equal to pi radius squared times 12. So this is equal to this is equal to 49 pi times 12 and those are kind of big so I'm going to put those in the calculator. 49 times 12 so 588 pi. And I'm just going to leave the pi like that so that we give it a more exact answer. Okay, so now we're going to talk about lateral area. So when we find lateral area of a cylinder, we're finding the area of this part that wraps around the cylinder, the soup can that wraps around, or the soup label that wraps around a soup can. So that area corresponds to this rectangle right here. And if you look, this height of this rectangle is going to equal to the height of this cylinder. So that's why it's 8 right here. And the width of this rectangle is going to equal the circumference of the circle because if we unwrapped it, we'd have a width of 2 pi r. So that's why when we find lateral area, it's equal to 2 pi r times height. So the lateral area for this is equal to 2 pi times our radius, which is 4, times our height, which is 8. So 2 times 4 is 8, times 8 is 64. So this is 64 pi centimeters squared, because area is always centimeters squared. All right, but now we have one last thing we're going to learn. It's total area. And we find, when we find the total area of a cylinder, we are finding the surface area of this entire can. We're finding all of this. That's why when we find our total area, we take our lateral area, which is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. This part gives us the area of both of these bases or I'm sorry this part gives the area of the bases this part gives us the lateral area and when we add them together we get total area so we have 2 pi times r which is 5 halves times 13 plus 2 pi r squared. So 2 times 5 halves just leaves us with 5 because the two can twos cancel. So we have 5 times 13 times pi plus 2 pi. If we square this fraction, remember we square the top and the bottom. So we get 25 over 4. So 5 times 13 is 65 pi plus if we cancel these we get plus 25 halves pi and I'm gonna get a common denominator so if I get a common denominator this is gonna be 130 pi over 2 and this is 25 pi over 2 so then we get 155 pi halves inches squared, 
because area is always squared units. So that's all we're going to do with the right cylinder today. But make sure you come back and watch the next video where we're going to go into some formulas for pyramids.